Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Deep Blue Sea 3, starring Tanya Red Raymond, Nathaniel Bazula, forgive me if I said that wrong, and Raina Oi, I don't know if I'm saying that right either, and directed by John Pogue. Now before I get into this movie, I must say, I saw the footage at Comic-Con, this Comic-Con at home, let's call it, and the footage actually looked interesting, but is it as interesting as... The movie itself? Well, let's get into it. Emma Collins, played by Tanya Raymond, with Eugene Shaw, who's worked with Emma's father in the past, and now works with Emma, dive into the ocean and swim with the sharks underwater. And they encounter a shark named Sally for a YouTube blog, and the effects on the sharks look absolutely horrible. But hell, this whole movie looks horrible as a video sequel, except for the underwater sequences. Richard Lowell, played by Nathaniel Bazolik, I don't know if I'm saying that right, so please forgive me, comes to get sharks out of the water with Lucas, who I swear to God looks a hell of a lot like Frank Grillo, but not menacing in my opinion. But they try to get three sharks with a mother named Bella, whom they th have the brain of, which we'll find out later in the film, and as the movie progresses, we find out their real evil plan. But their, with their starting scene, I, as we're introduced, as the audience was introduced to them, I knew instantly that they're up to something suspicious. And honestly, I don't care because I'm not caring about any of the characters at this point, And I'm waiting for the shark attacks. And unfortunately, spoiler alert, it won't come till the end of the movie which is a poor choice, as the movie is about sharks, not the people. Emma knows there's something up with Richard and his team, including Lucas, but let, she lets them work and captures sharks anyways, which is a horrible choice. And they capture one as one of Bella's three sharks. Sons? Yeah, that sounds right. And we see someone who is never named dead like eight and a half by sharks and a couple of great white sharks getting eaten by fish. And Emma sees it as Richard tries to calm her down. And as they're talking, I don't know what the fuck they're saying, but the three bull sharks are why Richard and his team are here in the first place. And honestly, the whole movie is predictable. Emma asks one of the workers, Spinocker, or Spin it for short, to put a tracking device in Bella because she knows they're up to something evil. And why are these characters playing it like they're being dumb? Every single character is stupid here. And I just cannot accept that. Emma has the girl with Maya, played by Reina Aoi, forgive me if I said that wrong, because Maya has a crush on Spin and they don't bring it back up until the end of the movie which doesn't matter because i don't care for the characters or their relationships and their arcs richard gets bitten by a shark but he's alive for now i'll talk about that later on but bahari if i'm saying this right goes fishing and gets himself on an off-screen death and i just didn't care at this point we don't get to know any of these characters. They die or when the movie finishes up. That's how poor of a job the script does, in my opinion. Richard shows what he's truly doing with Lucas, and Emma is pissed at, as am I with this movie. Richard tells Emma the truth, and Lucas starts to act more evil than Richard, and Emma punches Richard in the face, and Shaw, Spin, and Maya enjoyed very much of that which felt like a children's movie. It doesn't make any sense. Emma was about to report Richard and his crew, but Sean notices they're hacking the phone lines as well as putting an explosive device underwater, and Shaw, Spin, and Maya spy on the crew of Lucas. Not so much Richard as he starts to regret his decision, and I'm finding this very fucking unconvincing. Lucas shoots the good guys and blows them up the buildings because he's cleaning up a mess that makes no goddamn sense to me then we what makes matters worse 
These are sharks where Spin and Mayo and Will try to eat them. And Richard goes in the water and says, it's no brainer, and gets eaten by a shark, which looked really bad, by the way, folks. I'm just going to be clear. It looks bad. Emma goes in the water and gra to grab the bomb, and Spin confesses Maya, he's in love with her before he gets eaten up, and Shaw and Lucas have a brutal fight, and I'm not buying this from any of the actors at this point. And I ask myself at the end of the movie, what was the point of making a third part after two really bad films? I'll never know because I don't care for the series. Meanwhile, I'm led to believe Maya is dead at this point, but it's never so said until the final minutes of the movie. And I'll get there. Emma gets the bomb and out of the blue and, and blows up the ship Lucas was on, which would have been a great death if he weren't still alive. Spoiler alert. Emma has an idea of blowing up the three sharks, and they do so, but Shaw blows himself up after two sharks, and the last one is alive, and what does Emma do in an African, which I never got her name, do? They fight Lucas, and how the fuck is he still alive? It's, it's baffling, and I don't give a shit, except Lucas dies for real, and thank God for that, and they get rid of the final shark by squishing the head of, off like a bug with a machine with which was very stupid. Then Emma and the unnamed African woman, sorry, I never got her name, go to land by sea, and they run into Sally with a box of Maya, and I thought, she's alive? And she gets on the boat, and they get closer to land, and I was glad this thing was over at this point. Now let's just get to the rating. I'll give this movie a 1.7 out of 10. I don't like the characters nor the series, but it is better than the second film, but the film just looks awful in every single way. The script was dull, as it was very crummy, and the choices are made are horrible. Please don't make it anymore. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for this Deep Blue C3 conversation. And until next time, it's time to kill the sharks.